नमस्ते वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम प्राणेश आई एम एन आई आई सी बैंगलोर एलमनस एंड द फाउंडर ऑफ क्यूबिड एजुकेशनल सर्विसेस इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज वी आर सॉल्विंग फिजिक्स एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम द वेबसाइट पेपर ऑफ आई सर एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी टू एंड इन दिस वीडियो पर्टिकुलर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन विच कंबाइन्स कंसेप्ट फ्रॉम टू टॉपिक्स आई वुड से द फर्स्ट वन इज इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स कूलम फोर्स and the second one is uh, superposition of waves specifically laws of vibrating stream let's read the statement a uniform taut string with two point charges q and negative q attached to its ends passes over two massless pulleys kept l distance apart as shown in the figure if f is the fundamental frequency of the part of the string over the pulleys which of the following statements is correct F directly proportional to L to the power negative two, negative one, one and two. So as can be seen here, these are the two pulleys. Okay, this is the first one. This is the second one. <coughs> and uh, the string is this. This is the string. and as they have said at the end of at the ends of the string we have two charges plus q and minus q and they are separated by a distance of l by 2 okay now obviously because these charges are opposite in nature they will exert attractive forces on one another by coulomb's law okay so f coulomb is going to give rise to the tension in the string in fact they both must be one and same q will pull negative q towards it on the other hand negative q will pull q towards it so effectively the forces being an action and and a reaction pair they will keep the string stretched or tight okay now they have asked us to determine the fundamental frequencies variation with the length okay so let us first find out the variation of coulomb force or the tension with length okay what do we know from coulomb's law the force of attraction between two charges two point charges is directly proportional to individual charge so q negative q and it is inversely proportional to square of the distance between them so it must be l squared by 4 let me write that 4 here because the distance between them is l by 2 but more importantly we have got an important relationship and that relationship is t varies inversely with square of the length well forget about by 2 because that is immaterial now okay <coughs> that's the first part electrostatics part what's the second part second part is the formula from vibrating strings the formula for the fundamental frequency f is given by or is equal to is that it's 1 over 2l where l is the length of the string between the two rigid ends into root of t by m now because they have said that the string is uniform that basically indicates it's uh, the uh, that basically indicates the invariance of f over mass per unit length m because the string is uniform okay mass per unit length is the same so frequency f will now be varying with root t and inversely varying with l correct now let's use the two proportionality relations let's combine them and see what we get therefore f will be directly proportional to square root of Negative two power of l upon l. Okay, what is that? That is nothing but l raised to negative one in the numerator, or one upon l in the denominator. It already has one upon l in the, uh, there, so it will effectively be one upon l squared, right? Or f varies with l to the power negative two, and that option is a. I have been uh, observing and telling you this many times now that in in these entrance examinations, don't expect questions to be from a single topic. Like for example, take this one for instance, question seven. 
This question combines ideas from electrostatics, but the main concept here is to is is the is the vibrating string fundamental frequency formula. And there, as a part of it, we are normally providing tensions by stretching it manually. But in this case, in this model, they are saying, let there be two charges, point charges Q and negative Q, which are kind of pulling them towards each other. Who knows? In in the subsequent questions, you might even have two small bar magnets or solenoids, for that matter, which will try to either pull or uh, will either attract or repel each other. Okay, so you should be ready with such questions that will make uh, that will put you in a better position to succeed in the examinations. Anyways, that was question seven. In our next video, we will be solving question number eight.